So I want to do a video of my uh, two F3800 pluses with my home power panel after I've gotten it all installed. So I have my main panel here, 200 amp service coming into the house. Um, and we had been looking at a standby generator, got a quote on that, it was like 14,000 bucks, have it installed. Um, and what I really wanted, I wanted to have something so that if I left for work and the power went out, my wife would be able to take a shower, uh, get ready for the day and uh, give us some opportunity to later maybe add solar. We haven't done that yet. Um, but I got it all installed, running pretty well, honestly. Uh, one of the things I'm really impressed with is how fast it kicks over. So you go from the main panel here, have a 100 amp circuit that runs out of here. Because I've got the two F3800s, they recommend 100 amp circuit versus a 50 amp. And then you go into the home power panel. From the home power panel, you come out and you go to your backup panel. So um, I ended up, they sent me with an Eaton um, sub panel to go with it, but because I already had um, the Square D QO um, panel, I'd had to buy all new uh, breakers for that. So I ended up just ordering a uh, Square D QO panel, sub panel, and I was able to get more circuits on it. You know, you don't want to go crazy, obviously. I probably have more on there than I should, but I'm not pulling that much. Most all of those circuits are all pretty small. The biggest ones are the well. Um, and I do have uh, heat pumps in the house, which that's on a separate circuit there, and it will run those without any problem at all. Um, so basically, the other thing I have on this is I do have a back feed for my generator, and um, I am getting ready to replace my generator, put a new generator in, because they do sell a generator cable that you can get with the F3800 Plus, and it would work with the home power panel, but only if you only have one. Whereas I have two, you don't really have a place to plug that generator cable in. So what I've done is I've left my back feed in place, and I'm going to have an inverter generator uh, that will back feed. I've already tested it with the generator I have, and it will charge the F3800s. It's just got to be able to see clean power. Um, so anyways, I'm just going to do a real quick demonstration because I haven't seen a lot of these people. Do, a lot of people do this. But here we are. I've got them at 80%. Um, that's just where they happen to be right now. The lights that are on right now are on the backup system. So when I kick this breaker, you'll see how fast it goes. They won't even hardly flicker. There you go. You might have seen just a flicker. We got no power um, to any of the circuits that are in this board here, but all of that's backed up. So everything that's in there, the HVAC, the well, anything that I have running in the house that's on that panel is running right now off a of battery. And you'll see I'm dropping down to, and we've got 1186 coming out of this one at this time, 1183 coming out of this one that says I've got about 2.3 hours. Um, granted the HVACs are running. I probably got quite a bit going on in the house. So that is going to be, you know, obviously drawing faster than you normally would. If you're really going to a backup situation, you'd probably shut up the AC units. You would, you know, you would really look to minimize yourself. I, I think that if we were running overnight, we run about 300 watts overnight. Um, I could probably run all night on these two guys. So that's the other nice thing is I'll be able to start the generator, charge up these units. And then when we go to bed, shut the generator off. And then we'll just be able to sit power off these guys all night long. I am going to add some solar to it. Nothing huge, just probably four panels for each. Um, and they do allow you to put solar directly into them. Uh, there's a ton of videos out there about that stuff. So anyways, it is an amazing system. Um, you're going back and forth to the power. The home pan power panel really just makes it work. It just without without flaw. So you'll see I just kicked the power back on. And here you're going to start seeing that the power will be going down on these units as the as the house line picks up and starts giving uh giving power back to the unit so anyways um really happy with them so far they've done a tremendous job and uh they're doing exactly what i wanted them to do i probably have 6200 bucks in this whole system that was it you just heard it kick back so now it's going to start picking power back up off the grid um yeah 6200 dollars. i did a lot of the work myself and um had an electrician come and help me do the final hookup just to make sure I did everything right. Uh, he's a friend of mine. Thanks.